Okay, I just wanted to go over my FMBC uh, trade recap. Uh, so we'll we'll start that now. Get this a little bigger here. Okay, so I bought in yesterday. Uh, where the hell am I? There we go. Uh, I actually first I bought in pre-market uh, in the 30s, and for some reason I got kicked out as soon as the bell went. So uh, not not really happy about that. I I don't know what happened. Uh, contact the broker. Uh, they didn't really say much. I mean, they credited me some commissions, but I mean, that's that's about it. Uh, but uh, that that would have been a, a way bigger move. But anyways, uh, this was my entry. I, I got back in. I, I didn't want to chase, so I waited for the pullback. I got in uh, as soon as it started uh, uh, going green on this dip. Uh, rode it up. Um, uh, got halted, uh, should have been a little wiser and uh, sold, should have recognized that this was about to halt, uh, really wasn't paying too much attention to it. Um, but uh, anyways, then I just kind of rolled it out. Um, I really had a feeling that this could have went uh, back over a dollar very easily. Um, uh, but we'll, we'll go over the daily chart here in a minute. Uh, this is where I ended up selling. I sold on that morning spike uh, this morning. Uh, as soon as it couldn't get over uh, these previous day highs, uh, it, it's done. It, it's going to wash from there for sure. So I ended up selling. Um, I wanted to see if it was just going to quickly pull back and then ramp back up from there, but it didn't. Uh, sold at I believe it was 7704 is what the average was so I don't know it was somewhere somewhere in here anyways I think no right right in here yeah as soon as it started going red again over uh, underneath this candle making new lows uh, was I wanted to short it uh, I was able to get shares but I uh, had to go to a doctor uh, appointment and was there uh, for way too long. Really fucked me out of this trade because I would have loved to have shorted this all the way back down. But um, the reason why I was looking at a potential move higher, uh, first of all, it I mean, it it's come from 268 down to down to nine cents. Uh, it's obviously a piece of shit, but a lot of that had to do with uh, Trump and what he was saying about banks. And it, it just uh, all all the bank uh, stocks really, really took a shift kick in that day. Uh, and then it started to reclaim because there was a meeting and uh, and stocks and the bank stocks ended up uh, grinding back up. But because it's such a low price stock and I mean, it has made a massive move uh, topped out at eight hundred and ninety one percent. Uh, you know, in a few days, which is that's that's a ridiculous move. But uh, e easy money, though, when you see stocks that go go down like this, uh, especially on over some uh, idiot president just spouting off that he doesn't know what he's talking about. People usually have a tendency to overreact and overreactions are what I flock to. I love overreactions in the market. Uh, they're the most one of the most predictable plays out there. Uh, but like I was saying, I was looking for it to get a move higher, uh, looking for it to retrace at least the nine, uh, EMA, which would have been at 140, 150. I don't know if I would have held quite that long. I was looking more so for the move to a dollar. Uh, today the EM, nine EMA went up to, uh, uh or down to a dollar 23, somewhere in that area. That's what I was hoping for on that morning spike. I wanted a bigger morning spike. I really wanted that over uh, yesterday's highs, and then it this thing really could have taken off. Uh, I do understand it's a it's I mean it's a piece of shit stock, but all these uh, lower price stocks are. You just you got to know how to play them, and uh, it's they're they're extremely extremely predictable. Uh, you could have as soon as it. Um, failed this, I would have shorted it instantly. Uh, but like I said, I wasn't able to watch it, so that's fine. Especially once it broke VWAP, retraced back into it, couldn't get back over, it's gonna be done. But if you wanted to take the safer route, yeah, you're gonna lose a few cents on it, but if you want it to be really safe, as soon as it goes uh, red on the day like that, uh, 
this is the line in the sand and this is the line in the sand that is held for two days now uh, as soon as it got over these highs it couldn't get down below it tried a bunch of times I noticed yesterday on level two there was a big buyer accumulating all day every time it uh, dropped or retraced VWAP he was accumulating accumulating and that's why I held overnight I figured it was going to get a massive move because when someone accumulates like that there is a lot of support in that area right but as soon as that area breaks look at the big dump it is it is instant there is a panic sell um, it's it's pretty hard to get out if if you're long I mean you got to mark it out of it and there's gonna be slippage in the whole nine but but anyways that that was my thought behind it I really thought it could have got above yesterday's highs here uh, because of that that buyer or buyers accumulating in that area it, it really seemed to be uh, one one trader really just digging in uh, uh, taking a bunch of shares uh, every time it dipped retraced to VWAP um, he was buying so I mean that's always a good sign so it definitely wasn't a thought flawed practice I mean trade still worked out I was still able to get roughly 80 80 percent so I mean that's that's an amazing trade uh, but you know greedy always looking for more that's kind of how it is uh, if I wasn't greedy, I would have just taken that meat of the move at this uh, spike here. But like I said, I figured because of the overreaction to uh, Trump's speech, uh, it, it could have had potential to really to run back up. Uh, maybe not fill that gap completely, but at, at least make a good run for it before pulling back. But this stock is completely dead. Uh, you'd be a, a, a doorknob in order to buy it now. This is done. They're delisting. Uh, I was well aware that it was going to delist, but like I said, I mean, there's there's always potential for these overreaction plays to really make a big move um, back to, to highs. But uh, anyways, that was my my FNBC trade. Um, great trade, eighty percent. Happy with that. Um, the short on the backside though would have been really good had I had I pulled the trigger on that because, like I said, I was able to get shares. I mean, that's. Uh, where it pretty much closed at here is 51 cents where my entry would have been. I mean, 51 cents on an 80 cent stock is absolutely ridiculous. Could have, could have cleaned up, uh, should have just pulled the trigger on it and walked away from it. Um, but the way these uh, stocks have been playing the past couple of weeks, uh, it's scary just to short and walk away. I mean, they, they seem to have legs. There's people that keep buying these stocks when they shouldn't be buying them because there hasn't been many plays out there lately. So uh, people get bored. They need something to trade. So they're going to play a stock with the most volume and just hit it hard, especially when it comes to these uh, uh, lower price stocks, these penny stocks, quote unquote, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, the pieces of shit out there that everyone seems to flock to. But I flock to them because they are extremely predictable. This is all easy money, um, zero risk, uh, in, in my opinion, um, uh, zero stress, can ride it all day easy easy money but uh okay that's all i have to say about my trade on fnbc thanks